Are you uh, attempting to revive in the? I, I'm, I've got to. I feel like asking this question two different ways. Um, first, I'll ask it one way, which is in a sense incorrect. Maybe I'll just ask it this way and just get your answer. Are you attempting to revive in the West the awareness of? Oh, honey, are you attempting to revive in? Uh, tend to revive the ancient Indian caste system in the West. I'm asking a question. I, a question what do you answer. find? We are reviving caste system. What do you find? First of all, let me know. Why you are asking this question? If you have seen that we are trying to introduce the Indian caste system, then you say, but if there is no such attempt, why you are asking this question? Well, because a lot of people are interested, and the reason, the reason I would have asked Lot of people, you are also one of them. <laughs> so, I think, I where mean, do you find that we are trying to introduce caste system? First of all, find out where is the attempt. Then you ask question. Otherwise, it is irrelevant question. The, the um, Gita talks about the caste system. Huh? The Gita mentions. The caste Gita, what mentioned? Do you know? The four castes. What is that? In an untouchable On the basis of what? I can't locate it directly, but um, the um, from Brahma. Uh, Brahma. The, uh, the class of Brahma. Who has said? Who has said that this is caste system? This is caste, not caste system. Chatur Bhandang Maya system, Juna Karma Vivar. According to quality and according to work, <coughs> there are four divisions of men. Just like you can understand, there are engineers and there are medical practitioners. So do you take them as caste? Oh, he is Indian caste. He is medical caste. Do you say like that? I, I don't want to say what I feel because I, I'm an example. No, I am asking you. you. <laughs> I am asking you. Well, I, I think there's always been caste. It's just that we don't recognize the fact that they're there. No. Recognize means if a man is qualified medical man, we accept him as medical man. And if a man is qualified engineer, we accept him as engineer. Similarly, Bhagavad Gita suggests, not suggest, it is there. There are four classes of men. The most intelligent class of men, the administrator class of men, the productive class of men, and ordinary worker. That is already there. Bhagavad Gita says how they should be classified. That he belongs to this class, he belongs to that class. That is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Not that by birth, hereditarily, one becomes a caste. Don't try to misunderstand. The classification is already there. One class of man very intelligent. Is it not there in the human society? Uh, do you think all men are equally intelligent? Do you think? There must be. Uh, one class, very highly intelligent class. So what are the symptoms of the intelligent class? That is described in the world. First class intelligent man is he who can control his mind, who can control his senses, who is very truthful, very clean, 
very simple, intolerant, very advanced in knowledge, practical application of knowledge in life, and staunch faith in God. This is what God So it is not within India. Wherever you find all this quality, is first class. So we are trying to introduce that, that without first class man the society is useless. So to, there are first class men, Ustrena, just like a boy is intelligent. Still he requires training in the school college. Then he maintains his first class brain, first class position. So there is first class man. Now we have to train them properly how to become controller of the mind, how to become controller of the senses, how to become truthful, how to become clean internally, externally, how to become full of knowledge, how to try to apply the knowledge in practical life, how to become God conscious. The training is as a first class man can take up, just like they're taking all these boys. They had their first class brand, and now they are being trained up. That is equal. Trained up first class man. The training is equal. So we are not introducing caste system. That any rascal born in a Brahmin family becomes a Brahmin. We don't accept that. A man who is first class trained up to become a Brahmin, we accept it. It doesn't matter whether he is India or Europe or America. It doesn't matter. We are trying to introduce this system. That is mentioned in the Bhagavad. A caste system means. A man is born in a Brahmin family and he by habit he is fifth class man and he is accepted first class on account of birth. Similarly, uh, a person uh, is very intelligent, he can uh, be adaptable to all first class habit, but because he is born in a Sudra family, he is Sudra. We want to stop this nonsense. We are picking up first-class brain and training him how to become first-class This is our reason. Not that introducing this rubbish thing. No, we are not Otherwise how I am offering then sacred thread, no jersey. Anyone from India who is understand he is a first class Brahmin. We are training like that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 